Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, so today we are going to take you guys on a little house tour, a little apartment tour, um, which we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. um, it's all decorated for Christmas, um, which will be really nice. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have asked us to do an apartment tour. Um, normally by this time we would have had like all of our friends over to see the place. So, like a lot of people haven't been able to come over. Um, and so this is really nice. Hopefully it's kind of like being here with, but not being here. Um, so yeah, we'll take you along, um, kind of talk about what we did, what we why, did, we, did why we did it, our inspiration. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. So now we're in the main part of the house. This is where we do all of our living. Okay, so we are in our kitchen right now. And yeah, we love the colors. We love this color scheme. Um, one of the main reasons we picked this apartment because we liked um, what was going on in the kitchen. Um, I mean, this is it. It seems like it isn't big, but Honestly, this is like all the cabinet and storage space that we need. There's a lot of storage space in the island. Um, these cabinets have a lot of room in them. So honestly, it's perfect for two people. I mean, any less would be a problem. And then any more, you're just kind of collecting junk. So I'm happy. The apartment came with these shelves, which I absolutely love. So we have some pictures of us up there. We have our Khloe Kardashian inspired cookie jars. But we store like a cookbook up here right now. We have True Comfort by Kristen Cavallari, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Um, haven't made anything from there, but I love it. Um, and some Christmas decorations. And then this is like my favorite. If this wasn't here, I don't know what I would do. I just love it. Perfect storage for wine glasses. These would definitely not fit in the cabinet. So the, this is perfect. And then I love this island. I love entertaining when I can um, or when we can again. I can imagine this would be good for entertaining. I just love a good island to have stools and people around and food. I just, I'm like so happy that this apartment has this island. This is kind of where the part of the room where we spend the most time. Um, obviously, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but we were excited to do this home tour because we can show off our Christmas decorations. So this is our Christmas tree, our first Christmas tree together. We bought the tree this year, we bought all the ornaments, the tree skirt, we made this bow. Um, so yeah, we don't have a lot of, we don't have any like meaningful ornaments on this. They're kind of just going with our color scheme. But yeah, so that was exciting for us to put up our first tree together. Um, AJ's most prized possession, his bar card. He loves a bar card. You'll notice we have a ton of windows in this apartment, which is so nice. Like right now, it's the middle of the day and we have no lights on in the house. This is all natural light, so that's really nice. Stays on our electric bill. Um, so love these windows, love my chair. If you've been here, you know how much I love my chair. Um, the couch was really hard to pick out and get delivered. It took us like a month to pick it out and then a month to get delivered. Um, like the doorways are really small in this apartment and as I said, we're on the third floor, so we were really nervous about fitting furniture through the doorways and making sure it fit. Um, we found this at West Elm and we were a little skeptical about it um, just because it is so low but it honestly is so comfortable and it's so deep and I'm really happy with it and the color's perfect. And then we just kind of have this buffet back here. Some cute garland on it, it has some lights. 
when I was cutting a tag off, I accidentally snipped the lights, so we're waiting for new lights to put there. And yeah, we just have a bunch of like mishmash storage in here. This is actually AJ's bedroom dresser, which we didn't have room for in the bedroom, but it kind of looks good here, and it doesn't really look like the dresser, so we're happy. This is the stairway to heaven, I call it. So it actually goes nowhere. It was supposed to go to a roof deck, which they rezoned and weren't able to build. So it just goes to a huge skylight, which lets in so much light. I love it. But we use the top for storage, our Christmas tree boxes up there. We have like, paper towels and our winter boots. Um, so honestly, it comes in handy and it just makes our apartment seem so much bigger than it actually is. So this is our gallery wall. It's kind of, well, it's my gallery wall, really. It was kind of like, it was just a blank wall. And I was like, we could definitely do something with it. Um, I love gallery walls. Um, I had never really had a gallery wall, so like this would be perfect for a gallery wall. Um, I just, it took kind of a long time to, before it was finally done. I think probably like three months. I think it was probably done like October, maybe like early October. Yeah. I think the first thing that we put up here, was it? Uh, I think it was this, maybe? So this is a sketch that my good friend from college, Grace, did for us. We actually have four of them in the apartment. And we really, I was really, really happy with how they came out. So this, I kind of built the whole gallery wall around this. Um, and then you can see I have another one here. This is actually like a, I think a draft, like a sketch or like a proof of like one of the other ones that you'll see in the apartment. But um, I just thought like, why not put that one on the wall too? Um, and then this was our new home, like change of address announcement that I designed. Um, and then this I found on Etsy, but it's from like a local uh, artist based in Somerville, just outside of Boston. It's like a print um, and it's like all different colors and each color represents a different thing in the city. I think it's Lunch, Lunch City Studio or Lunch studio on etsy she had them from all different cities like all over the u.s um and it's like another thing i was trying to do was like get pieces to put up here that we like either found at local shops or had like a friend do or that was like from a smaller um like a smaller business um so that one i really like this is a really cool print i think a friend on instagram posted something about it on her story and i was like I need one of those basically, but it's, it's really cool. It's kind of like, um, the it's so it's vintage Barbie and Ken is the company name. And it's like all these different kinds of prints of like these old like Barbie and Ken dolls. And he's a photographer, I believe based in New York. Um, and he works with this costume designer who literally creates these costumes for these Barbie dolls. And he, it's really cool if you follow him on Instagram, you can see him like using a little dropper, like there's actually alcohol in each of these little glasses. It's like he drops little droplets of alcohol into the glasses and he, it, it's just really neat. You should definitely, he has them like all kinds, you should definitely check it out. Um, and then this I made for John like a long time ago, it's a Ramona Singer quote in a Ramona Pino wine bottle. Um, this one right here, John and I found at a little like flea market, what did you call it? Um, in the town that I used to live in. It was like one of our first dates. It's printed on burlap. And then this one over here I found on Etsy. Um, John, I let John have one thing he could put on the gallery wall and John brought us a Louis Vuitton. So we found this really pretty black and white print of a Louis Vuitton store somewhere in the world and decided to throw it up here and that's kind of it. So this is the hallway. Um, we decided to put some garland up here. Same garland that we have on the dresser buffet thing in the living room, but we got it at Target. Um, we have some stockings that we also got at Target. But yeah, very festive. I love Christmas. So um, let's go into the bedroom. But this is our bedroom. Um, we can see right when you walk in, we have another one of these beautiful prints that my friend did for us. And then the other one's actually in the bedroom too. Um, but come on in. So actually all of the furniture in this bedroom we already had right all of the furniture and so we didn't actually buy any of that brand new which was really nice so like we moved in the bedroom was ready to go um so the bed um the headboard i um we really like it's gray it's like so like i have still everything in this room still keeps with our color scheme throughout the entire apartment um but we found this bed spread that we really liked um it's white it has some like nice charcoal green piping um john brought this fuzzy 
throw body pillow kind of thing. Um, I really liked the idea, like you kind of saw in the living room, but like playing with different textures and patterns with pillows, because I think it just adds like a nice um, extra dimension to like the couch or the bed, and it's just like a really cool way to like bring some personal style. So like we have these like extra large Euro throw pillows that are like in a different like stitched texture and color. Um, but yeah, we have like lots of pillows. We have nine pillows. Um, everyone who walks into our bedroom will always comes on how many pillows we have. We each sleep with two. The rest are all decorative. This thing, this shelf, John brought from his old apartment. Um, and we, did you have these on that are in your last apartment too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he had the idea, which I actually really like, to put these little flowers um, on the different shelves, but they're these little Venus at floor flowers. I started, I guess three years ago, right? On our anniversary every year, I got John a rose, a white rose in one of these little rose boxes. Um, and so yeah, it, it's a nice, it makes for a really nice little display. And again, like all of the boxes are still in our color scheme. Um, white, um, this like really this cool suede gray, and this black, I don't know what we're gonna do. There's a spot for one more that we're gonna figure out what we do with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Um, above the bed was probably, that took us a really long time to figure out too. I think originally we both wanted like some sort of artwork or something up here, but we looked, or some sort of saying, but like every time we went to like Home Goods or we looked online, at least for me, like everything we found just felt very, like it just felt like something you would see in anybody else's house. When we were picking things to put up on the wall, I wanted it to feel like unique or like like things that we had like gathered like put a lot of thought into putting up on the wall i didn't just want to throw anything up on the wall so we i don't know who came up with the idea to do the frames but one of us had the idea to do picture frames and so we decided to do like six of our favorite pictures of the two of us that we've ever taken um frame them in these beautiful frames also from west elm actually um yeah and we just printed them out and we threw them in the frames and threw them up and I really like how it looks. I think it looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, Me too. I love that. I love, love, yeah, love, Yeah, we've gotten that. a lot of compliments on those too, which is really nice. So this is our dresser, pretty normal, filled with our clothes, stuffed to the brim with our clothes because I don't, I think John said this, we don't have a lot of storage in this apartment. So every piece of storage or every storage or area is absolutely maximized. Um, but yeah, we have, and then in here, it's, probably one of John's favorite parts of the whole apartment Definitely. is our washer and dryer. Um, we, John does all the laundry. I'm not even going to pretend like I do any of that. I don't think I've actually ever used this washer and dryer once. Nope. Um, but yeah, we have, yeah, so washer and dryer is just amazing. Um, we have all sorts of storage in there, like luggage, um, tools, like yoga mats, like iron, like literally miscellaneous storage in there. And then we also had to find a place to put all of our shoes until we hung the shoe rack, which has been working pretty well, even though we don't wear like 98% of these because we don't go anywhere. And when we do, we just throw on like sneakers um, or something comfy. So this is our closet. Um, and yeah, I'll just let you react, like have your own reaction to what this looks like. But it is absolutely packed to the brim. I think we're gonna do like a closet tour a different day because we both love clothes. Um, and that'll be really nice actually because I haven't been able to wear most of these in a long time So it'd be nice to just like hold them and touch them and look at them Um, but yeah, so lots of clothes most of them are mine Um, but we will get to that later And then if you come over here again another one of these prints Um, I think this one's actually my favorite, but yeah shout out to Grace Yu I will drop her Instagram at in the description um, but then yeah, this is probably, actually this is probably John's favorite part of the whole apartment. We have this amazing outdoor space, um, which is pretty rare to find in Boston. Um, so this was like a huge selling point for us. Um, we used it a lot when the weather was nicer, obviously. But yeah, we have a little patio set, which is really nice. We sit out here, have some cocktails, um, have some dinner sometimes. Uh, we threw some lights up that will keep up year round, and then we have a wreath for Christmas. But yeah, it's a really neat space. Um, we have 
nice views. You can also like kind of see the water out there, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, um, we're really happy with it. Yeah, love it out here. Yeah. We're gonna go into the bathroom, last but not least. Um, but before we do, I just wanted to point this print out. Um, I actually bought it before we moved in. John didn't know we bought it. Um, it's by one of my favorite poets, writers, um, Cleo Wade. Um, actually, the sweatshirt is also Cleo Wade. Um, but yeah, I love the print. I love the colors. I love the meaning behind it. And it's really neat because I like, it's like the first thing I see when I walk into our home. Um, it's the last thing I see before I leave. And it's just like a really nice message and a really nice reminder. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is the bathroom, pretty standard bathroom. Um, but yeah, it's a good size bathroom, pretty standard shower um, with tub. Um, we threw some eucalyptus in there. This is a must do for everyone. Yeah, it's really nice. It like, smells like a spa and just feels luxurious and yeah. everyone deserves a little bit of luxury after the year we've had so um but yeah this is this is it john threw a wreath up on the wall john loves his wreaths um i think my favorite part about the bathroom is actually the paint color i think paint colors make a big difference in making a place feel homey it just adds like another like level of yeah, coziness from the paint is really nice. Um, like we could have not put this wreath up on the wall and I feel like this bathroom still would have felt well decorated just cause like the fixtures and everything she picked out, which is really nice. So we hope that you guys enjoyed our house tour. A lot of you asked to see it, so we're um, we're glad we were able to do that. Hope you enjoyed our Christmas decorations. Comment, like, subscribe. That's the best way to show that you're enjoying our channel. Um, Again, anything you guys want to see, um, comment. We're open for any and all suggestions. And just once again, we're so happy and so thankful for all the love that you guys have shown us. Um, we're really enjoying doing this vlog and this YouTube channel, so we really want to keep it up. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.